Hi Grillers, I'm Eve from Kid Eating Patriots Barbecue in beautiful Cornwall, Ontario. Um, as most of you know by now, I recently purchased a brand new Weber Summer Charcoal Grill from Dixon Barbecue in Toronto. And I assembled it this past weekend and meant to uh, season it this week, but unfortunately I didn't get the time. I was really busy with work and uh, I never got to uh, season the grill. So I took the day off today, Friday, and decided that um, today was the day and I was gonna go ahead and season it. So what I'm gonna do for that process is I'm gonna get a chimney of lump charcoal fired up. Then I'm gonna dump it in the uh, brand new grill and uh, what I'm gonna do is bring up, the, bring up the temp to roughly 550 degree Fahrenheit and let it burn for about 45 minutes or so. And then after 45 minutes, most of the chemicals or surface grease or oils that uh, there might be at the surface of the grates or uh, the actual walls of the barbecue should be burned off. So uh, that needs to be done anytime you buy a brand new grill, by, by, by the way. And also after 45 minutes, I'll dial it down to roughly um, 275, 300 degrees and just let the um, lump charcoal consume itself. And as you all know, the summit retains heat for like really well and for really long. So the charcoal might just burn like all evening slowly. So anyway, that, that will also allow me to get to know my grill and know how to play with my dampers and control temperature. So yeah, so that's pretty much the plan for today. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to post short videos of every step of the way and that's it. So hope you enjoy it. Take care guys. All right guys, so let's get this process started here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the uh, propane charcoal igniter that's included with this Weber Summer Charcoal Grill. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the burner which goes inside the bowl here by maybe three inches. I'm going to be taking the uh, chimney, sit it over top of that burner and let the charcoal fire up. So it goes as such. So now the probing started. I'm gonna set the uh, chimney over top and I'm gonna let it do its magic. All right guys, been only like maybe a couple minutes and you see the, um, the coals have already started like slowly um, smoking up. So it should be about a 10 to 15 minute process before this chimney is fully lit up. And uh, when that's done, I'm gonna take the coals, dump them on the uh, charcoal grate, and start the seasoning process. So uh, I'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see, the uh, propane igniter did its job. It really got this uh, lump charcoal started really well. Um, I turned it off about 12, 13 minutes of burning because really it was well lit and on fire so I just decided to save the propane and turn it off and uh, let it run for now roughly what now five minutes and as you can see this charcoal is well lit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer the charcoal into the bowl and I'm gonna actually be using these uh, Weber uh, uh, what they call the uh, charcoal baskets because I'm gonna get them also seasoned as part of this process and as you can see, safety first, I am using these beautiful Weber gloves. If you don't have a pair already, I strongly recommend them. They really do the, the job. And um, they're about $40 Canadian, probably much cheaper in the States, but they're well worth it. I got a couple pairs and uh, I wouldn't trade them for the world. I use them all the time. So let's do this. Chimney away, give me a second. So, chuckles nicely. And as you can see, you can actually use these gloves to move the, the coals if needed. I don't recommend holding them forever, but for a couple seconds, 
You can certainly do it, look. And kids don't do that, it's dangerous. So yeah. The, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the grates over top just to make sure that the uh, the grates are also seasoned. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise the temperature to roughly 550 degrees. I'm gonna let it run for 45 minutes. And as I said in my initial section of the video, then I will um, use the dampers to tune the, uh, or I should say dial the temperature down to about 275, 300 degrees. And then I'm just gonna let it uh, consume itself at 275, 300 degrees. It will take a while because this grill I know holds damp and really reduces the consumption of fuel quite a bit. So um, yeah, it might take part of the evening because it's already uh, quarter after two in the afternoon. So yeah, guys, uh, that's about it. Um, I'll be posting more videos as the time goes by and I'll show you the end result at the end. All right, guys, so I, I thought I would show you this now. Uh, I'm almost up already at 400 degrees. I'm wet now, roughly 380. So um, it's been wet now, three minutes. I'm all, almost up to 400 degrees. This is not a small grill, so reaching 400 degrees and only like, a, like I mean two, three minutes, it's, pr it's pretty awesome. And um, another thing I wanna show you is this top damper here on this grill. You see how you can just use the actual rotating damper to make the, the hole smaller or bigger, depending on how much hair you want in your grill, or obviously that would be in the down position, or you can have it all the way up. And basically, it's a hole that's about four inches wide, and yeah, it's basically all out. So that's why the tamp is going up that fast because there's a lot of airflow going on right now. And uh, my bottom vents are open all the way up, or all the way, all the way open. So yeah, so it's pretty much what's going on for now. I'll give it another 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure I'll be up in the 500 degree range by then. And um, I'll just let it do its thing and burn. Hi Grinners. So as mentioned yesterday during my short videos, I said I would do a little follow up of the seasoning process on my brand new Simon Charcoal Grill. So it ran really well. I brought it up to 550, 600 degrees almost. And um, I had it there for roughly an hour actually. And then I dialed it back to uh, roughly 450 degrees and left, I had to go do some errands. And uh, when I came back two hours later, the grill was still well above 250. And I, had, I still had some uh, charcoal left in there. Considering that the grill had actually been at almost 600 degrees for almost an, like almost an hour and that I had dialed back to roughly like high 400s and I still had um, charcoal left after a couple of hours like it's it's pretty amazing so I'm very happy about how I went um, no complaint whatsoever so I'm hoping I'll be able to grill something on the grill this weekend I'm a little busy, so I don't know if I'll get to it, but hopefully uh, life will allow for it. So anyway, y'all take care and uh, grill on.